It's Dr. Parsa Saleh. Uh, happy Friday. Just wanted to do a quick, very quick video um, on another very important anatomic um, concept, and that's the layers of the scalp. Again, like all my videos, this is really important from an education perspective for anatomy and understanding it you know, as a student, whether that's medical or college, but very important for anyone who's doing any procedures, non-invasive or invasive of the scalp or the head. So the best way to remember the layers of the scalp is the mnemonic scalp. And yeah, I mean, that one kind of came easy to us. Um, but the best way to think of it is scalp. So S, you know, stands for skin. C stands for connective tissue. You can, some people say subcutaneous fat. That's where the C comes in, the cutaneous. But connective tissue is probably the best way to think of it. So skin, um, connective tissue, the A, the important A, aponeuroses, L, loose areolar tissue, P, periosteum. So again, this concept is really important because the aponeuroses that on your scalp is continuous with your, um, that, that's basically synonymous with your galea. And as we remember from one of my other videos, aponeuroses galea that's uh, in the scalp is continuous with the TPF, the SMAS, and the platysma. So again, understanding how everything comes together. And it's really important, you know, anytime you're doing a procedure up there, whether it's resecting a tumor, a skin cancer, um, but also cosmetically, you have to know what layer you're in when you're injecting things, you know, for hair restoration, when you're injecting um, or performing a brow lift, depending on the type of brow lift, you really need to understand that anatomy. So hope that helps. Always remember scalp, skin, connective tissue, aponeuroses, loose areolar tissue, and periosteum. Have a good day.